everybody and welcome back to TPK Roleplay. We are back again for our fourth of what was supposed to be a two-part installment of Destroyer of Worlds, but we can get more into that later. Let's go ahead and go around and introduce our cast, starting with that top left there. Hi, I'm Skelly V, uh, Skelly V on Twitch, Twitter, et cetera, et cetera. Um, tonight I am playing uh, <laughs> the trigger happy jarhead, uh, twitchy trigger happy jarhead, uh, private first class Dante in this lovely little adventure and uh, pretty gun happy. So, you know, <laughs> yeah, that'll, uh, that'll be fun. Anyways. <laughs> What a way to be. Hey folks, it's Elder Biffa. I'm uh, joining you once again as Warrant Officer Chaplin, your resident medic, uh, mech boy, mech dude, super, super uh, robo chap. Um, although I'm currently in a less than ideal state, I think currently uh, he's got a sort of melted acid arm. He's in bits and pieces lying all over the, the floor. Um, it's not looking, not looking at his best, but you know, I'm sure everything will be just fine. Mm -hmm. Proper. Make it okay. <laughs> Hello, my name is Proper Nerdy. I'm a staff member at TPK Roleplay, and I made lots of pretty pictures, including the video that you just saw. Uh, I'm playing Captain Silva, who is going to make sure everything is fine. Everything is going to be okay. I'll take care of my crew. Phew, I feel better. And when I, I need to stab people, I'll ask uh, Sergeant Iona. Never oh, take oh. it away. I feel so much better now. I feel like everything's going to be fine. I hope everything's fine. Hi, I'm Niff for Niff. Everything's fine. I am playing Sergeant Kill Iona, who is a very intelligent and very confident, uh, knife-happy being who is going to be fine. <laughs> Why do y'all keep acting like something is going to go wrong? You are because currently in a safe house. Charlie punched through an alien last time, wow. okay? He did punch through an alien. And with everybody else getting their introductions out of the way, I'll go ahead and reaffirm mine. I am Meg Mysteria, and I will be running this lovely crew through the rest of Destroyer of Worlds as their game mother. So without further ado, what's the story? So as the war rages on, our Marines find themselves dealing with more familiar territory. Wright has died, and there isn't any explanation as to why, but Silva was revived from her unconscious state as the group traveled east to continue their mission. There's two AWOLs left, Reese and Carvalho. They at least know about Reese, thanks to Faye too at the Oblivion Bar, but he'd been taken to the Marshall Station, so that's where they headed. But... They weren't the only ones looking for the AWOLs. A Union and Progressive People's dropship full of synthetics has been following them, and they're getting closer and closer. They're after something, something to do with Project Life Force, and think whoever wiped out the insurgents knows something. Avoiding crevices and explosions, the Marines make it to the station with the Union still on their heels, just to find it full of bodies. That being said, Reese is in one of the cells, with his chest cavity burst open and face and fingers chewed off like from an animal. But we know it wasn't an animal. The creature that Warshik had turned into descended from the rafters above them, and once again, the Marines were fighting something outside of their realm. They succeeded, but at some cost. Charlie ripped a hole through the alien, losing his arm in the process in order to aid his human comrades but the alien fought back. Charlie was ripped to shreds, but with another solid shot, the alien went down and the Marines were able to get out before the Union hunting them could come nipping at their heels. They followed a familiar face, they too, to what appears to be a colonist safe house. They're covered, secluded, and maybe, just maybe, they'll have the chance to regroup and repair their comrade. And that is where we are starting, you guys. See all those maybes, just maybes and everything. And you're getting on us about being like, yeah, everything's fine. Hunky it's my job. It's my job to make you paranoid. So I'm glad I'm succeeding. <laughs> That's my secret. I'm always paranoid. 
Oh, well, that's unfortunate. You should see a psychiatrist about that. <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah, we. I do also remember we did also break down the door to this safe house. Yes, you broke down the door. Uh, <laughs> Faye too is making hammer, and uh, I'm I'm still calling him Z because I can't figure out for the life of me how to pronounce his name. What's great? Hammer is... and Z are repl- are basically setting the door back up and covering it so yeah. that. <laughs> Anybody else who tries to come breaking in is going to have a harder time. Yeah. <laughs> but kicking in the door looks cool, right? It looks <laughs> cool. It's not ideal sometimes. You just now have a bunch of scared colonists in this bunker with you. A little bit more startled than they were before. Um. Okay, so... Does it look like they have any sort of... Do they have any uh, people who might be good at robot E? Does anyone look like a nerd? <laughs> uh, well, you know specifically that Faye Tu, the woman that had greeted you, is a synthetic. Um, as far as everybody else, most of them just looks like colonists. You see one of the pilots that had originally been in the bar. Um, so that's somebody that Silva would probably recognize as being at the bar when everything was uh, going on. Okay. Um, but for the most part, it's just people. They're just trying to keep from getting shot and <laughs> gunned down, essentially. Mm-hmm. Well, I appreciated your uh, commitment to the bit. Yeah, right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> um. Even though uh, Captain Silva is not good with with ComTech very much, she is going to attempt to uh, patch up Charlie as best as possible. Um, but she's going to make a, a kind of announcement to whoever is there. Just quick, my 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 medic is down. We need we need assistance. If anyone knows how to um, fix up a, a synthetic, please. Well, you won't find many people better than actual synthetics. And Beidou comes over and um, just kind of crouches next to you and looks him over. And Charlie, for clarification, you are still responsive. You can talk. <laughs> you just can't move. <laughs> You're just C-3PO in Empire Strikes Back right now. <laughs> Make a backpack out of him. <laughs> what exactly did this to you? This is very odd. Very curious sensation, um, but I'm uh, e- e- excited that I feel like my duty is done. I made the right decision, and that most of the crew is safe from harm. Although I'm sure the captain's wounds still need tending to far more importance than my own. Oh, please, I'm fine. We need to get you up and moving. We need to get out of here. I'm getting you all out in one piece. Well, <laughs> you might be three quarters, but... You're getting Very right Seventy-five percent is a passing grade. Z's get decrease. So does this synthetic. Well, I can help try to do what I can, but we obviously do not have the equipment here to help with any of that. If you're looking for medical supplies and something that might help repair him, your best bet would be trying to get to San Rocco. But oh, that is a... No. <laughs> Hi, buddy. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, oh, no. Fizzle. Fizzle just, Fizzle just right. donated $10 to attempt right. to fix the synthetic if possible. I don't know how an encounter table will do that, but I believe in you, Meg. <laughs> To help with the repairs. Yeah, the ten encounter is technically is, the encounter table. The encounter <laughs> is that this is what I want. all of a sudden <laughs> the encounter the yeah. walks into the More scene. Chaos. Yeah, somebody with How? somebody with spider legs just shows up and is like, hey, I have extras. <laughs> oh, my name is PJ Hawthorne. <laughs> Chicken anyone? The hero we all needed but didn't know we wanted. <laughs> 
So if we're going with $10 and you're wanting to help with the repairs, that's likely going to be splitting into um, donating to regain health, essentially. So as repairs are going on, it will allow Charlie to get health back. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Mechanic walks into the door 15 minutes late with Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> with Starbucks and spider legs. <laughs> how much health do you need, uh, not to sound too meta, but how much do you actually need to be full health? Um, six. So that's uh, uh, four for the rest of us if we have anyone who's down. I'm still a happy, healthy boy. <laughs> I'm a full four hit points. Woohoo! I'm hey, a full seven. How am I a full three? I don't get it. <laughs> hey, guess I what? My kale's just be a little more crunchy than. I don't know, man. Health pools, but... health pools in the system are weird. I still haven't figured them out, but. <laughs> I, I still accidentally keep like picking the tanks because I have almost. I have a little bit more, only a little bit more HP than last time, and I'm at a seven right now, so. <laughs> Supposedly, anyway, so, supposedly it's based uh, off your Between strength, me but, uh, and the other synthetic in the room, we are patching up Charlie as best as we physically can. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, do me a favor and roll me a contact. Just so we can kind of gauge where he's at. Ooh. That's two successes, I believe. That is, in fact, two successes. Huzzah. So with that, it will say, for the most part, you, between you and Faye, you guys get everything back to where it's supposed to be in the chest cavity and get it closed up. That might be mostly with duct tape. I was going to say duct tape. But <laughs> it's, uh, it's closed up. It's relatively sturdy. You can get up. You can move around. Um, Replacing that oh, arm, though, bad. is going to be <laughs> a oh, bit no. of a... <laughs> if, if need be, we're just ripping the, the arm off. We're closing up all the wiring and just, like, taking Are it off. Just cauterizing that shit. It's <laughs> Are there any spare chair or table legs that we can make a peg arm? I was going to say, can we get one of those, like, pincher grabby claws? <laughs> yeah, the little, like, from the science centers or the museum. You just put my sniper rifle on there? Yes! Right on. <laughs> can we please? <laughs> No, so we'll say no. no to the sniper rifle because that's a little awkward and long, but if you want to jerry rig that pulse rifle, or even if you want to use a knife. Yeah, I was like, say, I have one of my own is knives. Just one knife. knife. I will only have one knife. You only have one knife. You only was, have one knife. I was going to say, mind. Does, anyone you, else, does anyone even have knives anymore after how much we have stabbed aliens with the acid knife. blood? I have a service pistol that I'll let him have for an arm. <laughs> I was going to pull the trigger. <laughs> Look, wire it in. I don't know. Uh, but the pulse rifle makes sense. You know what? Yeah. If you guys, you know what? Because Meg said we could do it, I'm giving uh, Charlie my pulse rifle. Yeah, yeah. let's do it. <laughs> We got we got an extra gun from one of the dead people, so like so it we tracks like, that we, we would bash, have extra stuff. We bash you the bottom of it to expose all the electronics inside, and we attempt our we best to wire it in. up as much as possible. Um, you I get, find the specific little ligament that like oh. controls the muscle tendon. <laughs> laser arm, laser arm, laser arm. You, yeah, this is fine. Arm. We can. We can. It looks a fucking disaster, but it somehow sort of works. Just tape and cabling and like, yeah. It keeps yeah. sparking no. randomly for no reason. You guys have successfully looks... repaired and armed your medic. <laughs> We armed the medic. Yes, medic so many <laughs> medic, but I am going to say that this took you some time to do. Oh, 100 percent. So, yeah. Um. So I know at least one of you has banter. That's so. me. I was gonna say I would love to have some some good banter and as many arm puns as I can think of <laughs> at this point to try and learn some with the laser on. What is everybody's stress level sitting at right now? Six. Six. Zilch. Four. You're a, you're a robot. <laughs> you don't have stress <laughs> levels. <laughs> well, 
<laughs> um, so between the repairs and just sitting down and having some time and with the banter play going into effect, yeah, I'll allow that to basically zero out everybody's stress levels. Oh, zero. Amazing. <gasps> what? That's so that satisfying. Wow. Wow. It takes some time to repair robots, guys. You got to get all the right True. bits working. That's how it works. I would think working on a robot would be more stressful. <laughs> yeah, except then we gave him a gun for a hand. <laughs> yeah. You guys, <laughs> so that cool. was y'all's decision. I couldn't be more thrilled, honestly. And you it's guys is proud of y'all. But so... While the repairs are going on, is there anything else that those of you who aren't doing repairs would like to do? People you want to talk to, or are you guys just kind of hanging out and trying to regroup? Uh, not really, just because, I mean, well, I guess Dante technically was there to see the, was Dante, was Dante present? Uh, for the whole scene at the bar or anything like that, or no? You were all there uh, the entire time. Yeah. Yeah, I think you were carrying my paperwork. I mean, you threw my binders away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, so Dante had essentially been keeping watch outside the bar during that. Oh, okay. So you had an update after everybody came out, but... But I didn't see face. But you did not see. Basically, people. I'm assuming Celeve is asking if yeah. you could go up talk to that pilot there. Yes. If you want to go talk to the pilot, then go talk to the pilot. Well, if I don't. You could probably so. recognize the fact that he's wearing a pilot's uniform. Yeah. And that hey, would be enough. Dante, that's the pilot there. Dante. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Role playing. Improvisation. <laughs> 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 gotcha. On that point. Perfect. <laughs> We were all like, do the thing, and you were like, no, I don't want to do the thing. We were like, you're going to do the thing. <laughs> Go do the thing. do the thing. I'll make you Listen. do the thing. <laughs> Listen, I was just trying to... His arm will go off accidentally and shoot you closer <laughs> to the... <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Y'all wilded. <laughs> Look, if you want right. me to roleplay this more, Iona yeah. will be like, that, that's the pilot over there. I'm not the best at talking, but like, we should probably go talk to them. Yeah, sure. I got it. Okay, cool. <laughs> you, right. you go do the thing. <laughs> Wait, is it bad taste to do finger guns now that Charlie has an actual gun for an arm? I'm going to say no. It's probably going to make him feel more comfortable. More you know? at home? So more like, at home should, I, should I keep doing finger guns like all the time now? What's the appropriate amount of finger guns now? <laughs> at if least one more. Three minutes. Okay. All I'm right. just gonna put these away now and like literally holster his finger guns. I wish I could put mine away. <laughs> All right. So sad. It's okay, buddy. It, it looks really cool, and I'm sure we'll be able to find you another arm soon. <laughs> okay, as soon as, as soon as we get to the dropship. It's an arms race. It's an arms race. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's a good thing <laughs> Sola is busy working on Charlie, or else she would whip you guys into shape. <laughs> <laughs> I deserve that. In any case, Dante's going to You're welcome. Stroll. In any case, Dante's going to stroll on over to this uh, Mr. Pilot dude and just be like, so, uh, what have you been up to since... <laughs> So, uh, come here often. <laughs> so, this uh, pilot is actually female, and she is pacing like one of the outer walls. You can see that there's just slits in the boarding that she's peeking through, trying mm -hmm. to see what she can get, whether or not that's there's people around or whatever. Looks very restless and very flushed. Prop a little bit wobbly, like she might mm -hmm. still be drunk. <laughs> um, what a time and, to be drunk! And what a time to be drunk! Uh, and she looks over to you and and uh, remind me what you said verbatim. Verbatim? Oh, uh, yeah. but 
come here often. <laughs> no, no. It was, what it was were like, you? What are you actually wanting to say? Uh, I was gonna basically, or uh, Dante was basically gonna ask. So, uh, what have you been up to since last talk? Talking to our crew, basically. <laughs> last, no. Last, looks over at you and just responds with last talk to you i didn't talk to any of you I saw some of you at the bar earlier that jackass over there and points at hammer scared the shit out of a dancer with the, by stabbing a knife into the table <laughs> oh well either way what have you been up to how's uh how well are you the only one who made it out the bar after everything No, actually, a lot of us are from the bar, from that area. They, they brought us here before the union started to get near downtown. So everything hasn't completely gone to shit, got it? it oh, it's gone to shit. It's, I mean... Okay. They're working their way in. Okay, well, it could be worse. Could be way more dead people. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna take your word for it. I'm just a freighter pilot. You're a marine. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bye. It, it, can I? Is there something that you wanted? Um, I probably wasn't the best one to do this since I wasn't actually here for the session. I didn't re really think about it. I, I mean, it's kind of in character since she Bonte literally didn't... hasn't talked to anybody. Okay. This this is the first interaction she's had with any PC. So. Oops. My bad. Uh, but Dante. I, I'm only yeah. care, I only care about getting us out of here. These people need to escape in some way. I need to finish uh, working on Charlie, but you help them find a way out of, off of this godforsaken moon. I mean, there's a pilot here, but I don't think She's necessarily fit to fly. Rally the forces. <laughs> we got to find something. <laughs> yeah, I'm the one who's not fit to fly. Yeah, uh, my freighter is currently grounded. Everything that it's in one of those hangars at the spaceport, waiting for repairs that never got to the moon because it was all stuck in orbit. The only th way off this fucking moon is going to be that. Big ass medical ship sitting at the spaceport or Fort Nebraska. But considering all the ground troops from those drop ships are landing at the spaceport, getting into that, getting to that ship is probably not happening. Not with as many people. What's, uh, well, hmm. That sucks. Look, I know, and you guys would all know this too, that at Fort Nebraska, there is a, it, what's basically referred to as a space, el space elevator. Mm. Um, it's a multi-tiered cable car that, that uh, docks at the second level of Fort Nebraska and then goes up into orbit where there is a platform. That's where all the ships start, dock for restocking. That's where you people come in and out off the moon, unless they have a direct ship to land. Okay. Right. And you guys would also have known that that, that elevator has been stopped. Yeah, at, I was going to ask, is the elevator even still working, or is it, like, down for the count? It's functional, as far as you all are aware, but... Before you guys had even left, there are people who are already talking about how it's basically been stuck at level two, level three, and hasn't moved. It's, uh, it's what is it rumored the that the um, colonel that runs Fort Nebraska shut it down. What is at the other end of the elevator? At the top of it, yeah, it's essentially a um, docking platform. There's, 
So it, it w- would still need a ship there. There's typically ships there because, well, you guys already know that beforehand. So it's like a, a, a elevator up to like a space station kind of thing. Pretty much, yeah. Gotcha. Cool, 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 cool. So, so some part of uh, Silva is thinking, I only really need to, need to care about the people in my crew and getting them out alive. And uh, she's doing that to the best of her abilities by patching up Charlie. But some part of her, her brain is also thinking, oh, sorry, um, is also thinking that these people are stuck here and uh, there's basically a war going on outside and uh, we need to find a way for them to get the fuck off, out of Dodge. So, um, uh, Captain Silva will kind of elbow Sergeant Iona while uh, mm. Sergeant Iona is making more and more arm puns. Yep. Um, and uh, kind of just hands over a big roll of duct tape that they found in a corner somewhere and yep. uh, just say, just uh, just finish patching him up. I think everything should yeah, of sort of work. Uh, it's been yeah. so long since I've had to do this. And, I've got uh, it handled. And she'll stare at you for that really bad I'm... pun. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then she'll wander on Thank over you. to the fighter pilot. So, are you just going to sit here and get drunk? Or are you? Pl- how, do you have a plan to get off of this godforsaken rock? You're asking that of uh, the pilot? Yeah, for some reason I thought they were drinking. I don't know why. She th- it said she, I said she might still be drunk because she's very flushed. Yes, there we go. So, you gonna sober up here and just wait out till someone finds you? Or do you have a plan to get oh, off? Oh, thank you for the donation, oh. guys. Thanks, it's fine. Everything's fine. You're <laughs> absolutely correct. Everything yes. is fine. Everything <laughs> is fine. fine. That is twenty five, which I believe is a major beneficial item to you guys. <gasps> Whoa! Did that included ship spider legs. Yeah, it very <laughs> much legs. A spaceship. It's a spaceship. vat of cooking oil. <laughs> Is it That's an it. extra arm laying around? <laughs> Is it an extra arm laying around? Well, you already put to, the pulse rifle on. Okay. It, so. <laughs> it's all gonna be undone and then the new one put on. It's a chicken grease trap. We'll just make <laughs> it so you can swap it. Um, All right. <laughs> so, what is uh, while you're thinking about what it gave us for a beneficial item? Uh, what is uh, the pilot's plan of attack here? Uh, the pilot. It pretty much comes down to her saying, "Look, you find me a ship, I can fly it." That's all I need. Have any combat training? Not really, but well, then you better learn quick. Uh, And with that, uh, she's going to rally up the troops and see where everyone, what everyone's doing. The troops, as in your team, or just in general? Yes, yes. Okay, I was about to say, uh, look at all these, uh, the, uh, look at all these, uh, I want to keep wanting to say colonizers. I'm like, no, that's not Please right. Please don't. That's not right. <laughs> colonists? Um, colonists. There you go, that one. I was like, that's a very different thing. Anyways, the colonists, mm-hmm. uh, does anyone look scrappy? Is that what we're trying to get at? Like um, they're fighters, or I was just talking about us in our group because I found okay. us a, <laughs> yeah. a pilot to get out of here. I believe I our dropship. How is what is our connection with our uh, our escape plan? So you guys do not have an official escape plan. Love your dropship, your dropship went down. You do not have communications with the base after the um, that boom that basically reset Charlie. It Mm -hmm. knocked out basically all communications. The only thing that ended up coming back up was the Union, and that's only for close range. Aren't I glad you happened to mention there might be a pilot in the room? Anyway, 
Um, mm-hmm. I can pick up what you're putting down. Um, I'm gonna bring on, bring her on over, and uh, give her. A, I'll say I have a, a like a like a, a canteen of water or something, and just say I need you to sober up quick. I need you to be <laughs> quiet. I need you to be fast. I need you just do everything that I say. We're gonna get. We need to get out of here. You just happen to be the only fi- the only pilot we have at the moment. We'll get as many of these people out of here as we can, but uh, there's not much I can do, really. Have you? Do you know any uh, uh, gossip about the uh, broken space elevator? All I know is that Colonel Myers ordered it grounded and stopped the evacuation. Interesting. He stops the Monaghan, which is the, which you guys would know is that big medical frigate that's sitting in the spaceport. That thing is big enough to evacuate the entire settlement, but it's been grounded under his orders. Uh, do we know where he what? would be found? Colonel Myers, as far as you guys are aware, is in Fort Nebraska. He heads operations there, and he typically sticks to sub-level three. I think it's about time we head back to Fort Nebraska, then. Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah. That's a go. <laughs> how about how about, about how far are we? We're sort of close. We don't have any transport at the moment. Say so you guys ended up having to abandon your transport because, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, it was surrounded by uh, Union Synthetics, who are yeah. still hunting you, by the way. <laughs> yeah. So We're about two kilometers away, which is not terribly far. Uh, if I step out, if I kind of peek my head outside for a bit, can I see, well, anywhere that I could, that people might be able to hide near North Fort Nebraska? Like, is there a way to get up onto the, the roof or the sea, or, or one of the top floors and see out above? Mm. You could get a couple of levels up, um, but for the most part, these buildings are meant to stay all low about the same level because of the storms that constantly blow through. That makes sense. You don't want one thing toppling over another. Well, I'll still go as far as I can and try to like look out of a window as best as I can and see if I can see any kind of surviving area that I might be able to get these people into until we are able to find the frigate. Okay. Um, Let's see. So what you gather from We'll say that there's an opening up high enough that you can duck underneath like a water tower that's under that's on top of this building. Mm-hmm. And you can get enough of a visual that you're getting the same inform pretty much confirming the same information you already got. A lot of the dropships from the Union are around the spaceport. They're around the oil refineries. There's some over here in district in the West District around the insurgent compound that you had left, and you'd seen them coming in already. Um, and it seems like they are trying to like move towards the center. Uh, you see a couple of them over in District East area. Um, it, they don't seem too concerned about that side because it's mostly just housing district. Yeah, but the medical one is at is at Fort Nebraska, supposedly, right? The medical frigate is at the spaceport. Ugh, why is it so far away? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna to have to send them. I'm gonna have to send them away, basically. I'm gonna have to send them to find shelter as close to the spaceport as they can. So, and we're going to make this really easy on you guys. With that uh, lovely major beneficial thing that you got. Um, so actually very close nearby, you've got a couple of uh, sizable drop ships that have landed. The, the 
They're Union dropships. But hack that. Hacker man, let's go. They're Union dropship. They're Union dropships. But from what you can see, there's really going to be enough for you to put these colonists onto one and get let the pilot get them out of there. Well, that just means we don't have a pilot then. Dang it. it means you do not have a pilot, which means you I have to find another way out. Piloting. Well, but it does give you an easy, a nearby, easy access to get these people safe. How different is an APC from like a dropship? <laughs> Very different. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have a zero in piloting. And... I have a two in piloting. I might also be of some use if the worst comes to it. However, I must admit it's not my formal training. You can rob them at gunpoint. I'm a gun point. But yeah, these dropships, other than maybe a soldier in the, the pilot, they're being left unattended. The other soldiers are moving out and trying to see what's going on in the area. I mean, if the colonists were left alone, you said it's mostly residents, right? Um, or? It was resident housing. Oh. Most of the actual, like the colonists, were concentrated in specific areas. So around the spaceport, around the Oblivion Bar, and around Fort Nebraska were, all, were where the remaining colonists were mm. because they were trying to evacuate. Okay. See, I was sitting here thinking like there was like a, the gaggle of like people here. I was like, thinking like, are there like toddlers and stuff? Do some of these toddlers look like they could handle like guns? <laughs> if the worst comes Please to stop. <laughs> could you As a preschool not. teacher, just no. TPK does not promote child soldiers. We do anyway, not. Um, America. Do not. America. We don't go with, we don't roll with that, kids. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I'm going to uh, speak privately to the. Uh, the pilot and simply ask her to take as many people as she can and um, steal one of these if she has one of these dropships if she has to and get as many people out of there as possible. Hey. Okay. Um, she asks them, what are you all going to do? Well, we are going to track down that son of a bitch who is uh, keeping us all here. And we're gonna f we're gonna get the off of this moon with the medical dropship. Um, I, I wish you all luck with that one. And do me a favor: when you see Myers, kick him in the dick for me. <laughs> oh, don't worry; it'll happen at least once, maybe a few more times. Probably one for each of us. <laughs> we just all take turns. But um, <laughs> as you uh. Everyone's starting to gather things up and get things ready. Uh, Faye actually comes forward. She's actually managed to get some gear because while these people were hiding out and the Union had seized the bar, she was technically still running it for those soldiers because they wanted to fucking drink while they took over the colony for some goddamn reason. Uh, but... is, is this the uh, is it the synthetic? Yes. Who is this? Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Faye is the synthetic. She has some, um, for you all mostly, uh, she presents some medical supplies. And she does have um, at least a couple of service pistols that she was able to get a hold of for this group that is going for the dropship. So you know that they at least have something to arm themselves with, and you guys have some backup. Cool. Um. As everybody is getting all together and starting to move out, there is actually a woman that approaches you all and says, so you all are returning to, Nor to Fort Nebraska, right? Yes, yes, we are. Mm -hmm. Why do you ask? I'd like to come with you. And you are? Ellie My Ripley. name is no. <laughs> what you've I got been done for years. <laughs> it's a mystery. <laughs> Gee, um, 
says, my name is Eckford. Sorry. I, Out of character, one more time. Eckford. Eckford Sheet. Mm. Love that. Miss oh, Eckford. There it is. She says, I am a representative for Whalen Utani. We're all descendants of uh, someone with the last name Sheet. <laughs> Anyways, sorry. <laughs> Hold on, I need a moment to process that. <laughs> okay, now it's my turn. You could really call this a character sheet, then. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. <laughs> I'm resigning. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I am not sorry, actually. <laughs> uh, anyways, sorry. I actually am sorry for derailing. Anyways. Look. Uh, Jesus, my name is Eckford. I'm a representative for Whale and Utani. There is material there that I need to retrieve. Um, can I break for a quick sec? Because out of character, I would, in character, I would know this. Out of character, I do not. Um, mm -hmm. Well, Utani is the company that I mean, basically sponsored the the colony, right? Or am I making that up? It was definitely associated with the first alien. Yes. Mm. Well, so the. What would I know about Wayland Utani, basically? Yeah, that's Wayland. Wayland Utani is a major corporate organization that pretty much funds the United Americas, which is who you work for. Yep. So they, yes, Whale and Yutani, uh, Char Charlie's very familiar with. They made him. Um, they employ all of you. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Uh, but do we do we trust the corporation, or is it just kind of a like these corporate overlords just own us? That is pretty much up to your own personal interpretation. There's mm -hmm. always rumors going around about shady shit going on, but you're Marines. It's, it comes with the territory. It's war. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> it never changes. Well, something tells me you don't have any combat experience. Miss Miss. Probably not. I know how to take care of myself. And she actually does have a rifle and a pistol on her. Oh, I hope okay, she's Okay, well, then you will have knife. to cuz I'll get you there, but I'm not help uh, once you, once you go you get in, you get out by yourself. And then we're getting off of this. I mean, un unless you're like really good at piloting or something too, maybe. Is that too much to ask? Probably. I basically was saying that like she can do her project by herself while we're working with the uh, the colonel or whatever. Mm -hmm. Well, we're forming our line of people to kick him in the nuts. Yeah. <laughs> so what does she say to that then? You and I have similar interests. I am trying to get to Colonel Myers as well. Excellent. He's Great, get in line. <laughs> Fantastic. And she is geared up and ready to roll out with you guys whenever you are. Charlie, how are you oh. feeling? I believe we should uh, make post haste. Everyone else? Right. Ready to go. Let's go. And so we venture out into the cold. I don't want to show that to everybody. I want to use it as a token, so we're just going to use that one. Yay! Mm. I mean, you can see her character sheet regardless now that you've seen her, yeah, but right. it doesn't matter. Nothing matters. <laughs> Everything okay. Nothing matters. Fine. It's fine. It's Everything fine. Everything is fine. Everything is fine. fine. <laughs> but, um, oh, she's a little squashed now. She is a little bit squashed. It's okay. Everybody is a little bit squashed. <laughs> but uh, so oh, you guys get ready to roll out. Uh, Faye and Eddie, the pilots, take everybody to go get a hold of that dropship. And as far as you guys can see, they 
took off without a hitch, without any interference. Lovely. Sweet. So those those guys are safe. You got a twenty thirty calling us. Okay, well it's time we venture on into Fort Nebraska and uh, no explosions find us a, right uh, in that direction. A corrupted colonel. A um, corrupted colonel. Alon Z. Alon Z. All right, give me just a moment to I check something. All right, so I need some people. I need you guys. Anybody who would like to to make me observation rolls. Ooh. I want to make a roll. I want to make a roll. I'm not very good at. at oh, observation. I have a zero in observation. I'm good without it. I think somehow I a, we're all really bad at observation. Yeah, I was gonna say <laughs> I have a zero in observation, but I have a three in wits. So let's go. Yeah, it adds your what? observation modifier what? and your wits together. So. Surprisingly, well, Dante and Charlie did well. They yeah. both got one. Dante and Charlie, you guys catch it as you guys are moving along. Um, you're able to get through these streets for the most part now that you, you've you got the chatter from the radios that you have already. So you're able to kind of keep an eye on where people are. And mm -hmm. you know this place better than they do, technically. So you're moving around. But... What that was is that you are starting to notice what's actually happening with these colonists. The Union, the soldiers, are gathering up everybody that they can find and lining them up outside. Uh, Dante, you're going to end up taking a stress point for that one. And unless you're pointing it out to anybody else, um, you just see these colonists lined up against the wall, uh, terrified. Some of them are begging and yelling, but these soldiers are lined up facing them. It seems like they might just gun these people down. Captain, if we do not intervene, this situation is going to turn critical. I think it already is critical there, Charlie. Um, how many of them, how many of the Union soldiers are there versus us? Uh, there are four soldiers and seven civilians. Good. There we are more of us. Um, so working at the utmost speed and as quietly as possible, uh, Silva's going to divide up the team and, uh, now that that's been pointed out, I need everybody to add an add a stress point that did not already. Speaking of adding a stress point, it's okay. We'll get him back. I guess I'm Charlie now. I'm Dante. Welcome, in Charlie. <laughs> Hello, everybody. What did did Skelly oh. disconnect? Al, you're being Iona. Yeah. Al, how okay, does it I'm feel to be a vegetable? We we'll want to give them a moment to get back in the call. Yes. Uh, should we go to a quick intermission while we wait for them to uh, get back to us? Perfect. Yeah, we've been going for about an hour, so let's go ahead. Well, we'll be back in about five to ten minutes, and uh, hopefully we will all look our normal selves. So give us just a few moments. See you soon. <laughs> and we are back, everybody. <laughs> Putting finger guns at each other, but we finger are guns, back from finger, our intermission. Gun arms, close enough. We Gun have arms. not lost. We have not lost Skelly or Dante to the void. They are back, so we get to explore this wonderful hostage situation. Or actually, the more term is probably an there. execution. <laughs> it's an execution firing. Squad. That's what yeah, it is. Yeah, it's it's straight up a firing squad. It's, so it's a firing uh, squad and. We were about to designate teams. 
Okay. We should probably designate teams, shouldn't I? Yeah, um, you. Yeah. Captain, <laughs> wait, waiting orders, sir. I'm going to send Iona off with uh, our new recruit here. Yes. Uh, I'm going to have Hammer and uh, Charlie take an, uh, the other, other direction. And um, basically, the rest of, uh, I'm going to split the rest of us into two. And I'm just going straight out for shoot him in the back. Don't care. I mean, I'm down for shoot him yeah. in the back. Shoot the robots. Do it. Let's go. So you're trying to hey get now. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Sorry. Whoa. 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 Sorry. Whoa. Whoa. Sorry. That's my butt these, you're talking these about. These people there. actually don't look like the synthetics that you saw. These just look like soldiers. Yeah. Shoot them anyways. Still that people means... that are going to murder we people. Are, we, so... are taking yeah. out, we are taking out the soldiers uh, with uh, no remorse. Nope. Okay. I'm doing so... it. Do me a favor, um, and each of you roll me a mobility to see if you can get around stealthily to get these guys in the back. Sneaking, sneaking. Yeetaw. Yeet. Nope. Oh, no. <laughs> First two rolls up, we both get failures. Two success. One success. Wow. <laughs> so... Char <laughs> Charlie and Silva, your teams are good. Um, so I don't know I mean, you need to make me a panic roll. Dante, mm -hmm. you also need a panic roll, but I also need you to roll me a d6, a stress die. Okay. To be fair, I didn't really care about being subtle. I was just going to run up and knife them. <laughs> I, I was just going to shoot them. Okay, so you guys are good. Okay. Cool. Shoot them. <laughs> We are right. going to attempt the... Uh, um, shoot first. The shoot first Ask approach. <laughs> okay, shoot first approach. Yep. All right, so then go ahead and... Um, do you know what? You guys passed your panic checks. You guys... Well, Iona, you did not get a success. No, I did not. You did not, not get a success. Uh, I know. I tried <laughs> or something. Let's see. Let's see how Eckford does. How are you doing, ma'am? Where Where is your on seat? Women's Day. Let it be useful. It's Women's Day. It's Women's Day. It's let her Women's be, Day. Let it be good. I just need to double check what her actual bonuses are. <laughs> so let's see. On women. Okay. Show so. Up. She is here to represent and prove her worth. <laughs> so you guys um, get around and you actually fairly easily get the drop on these guys. Yes. So they are down. They are dealt with. And these colonists are just looking at you like, what the hell just happened? Just happened. And... <laughs> And uh, thank you. <laughs> I'd like um, to imagine it's one short shot from all of us and they collapse. Uh, <laughs> just because that would look so cool. Um, yes, you guys are all in different corners and in back in different halls. The colonists can see or you. Even better, one after another, they just fall to the ground. Except yes. for that we did not coordinate for, okay, who are you aiming for? So what it more than you know, what okay. turned out is not aimed for the enjoy, same enjoy, Niffer, enjoy the cool cinematic I moment. Right. <laughs> I coordinated Don't do this. without the role play. I said I spread us apart and told you what to do. That was Cat. the coordination. Somebody has a sniper rifle. I don't Basically, know who it is anymore, being... but I think it's me actually. I, I thought it was me. No, wait. There was a, a sniper rifle got passed around at some point. I know that. Anyway, some... they're down on the ground. I, we should. And uh, Scott Silva is rushing to the civilians <laughs> to make sure that they are at least sort of okay. Um, they're roughed up, definitely some bruising it looks like they might have tried to fight back but they're standing they're functional game mother can they i can... look around and double check if there's any um similarly empty buildings they can shelter in for the time being uh there's plenty of them around you 
Uh, I'm uh, some of them are broken open just because of the bombing and the yeah. the uh, fissures in the planet, but there's I'm one or two pick, that... I'm going to pick one that's close to Fort Nebraska as possible, but is still as uh, sturdy as possible. Okay. I'm basically going to rush them in there and say, you need to stay here. You need to stay safe. Someone guard the door at all times. And... Uh, Here's a gun. We're back for you as soon as we can. Here's a gun. <laughs> a singular oh gun. It's just one. <laughs> Here is a slightly dull knife. <laughs> a slightly dull knife. Don't mind the acid marks. <laughs> right. Um, it's just the handle. <laughs> wait, you're just, you guys are just going to leave us here? What? Uh... Well, I'm sorry, I have a mission to run. I need to take care of that first. We're Make working it. on getting every as many of people as we can out. <laughs> you're coming. You're coming back, right? Of course. Yeah. Okay. Um. We'll try to survive till then. <laughs> this well, is about the gist of it. So you guys are ready to oh uh we are gonna we are gonna take the the whatever weapons were on those four shoulder shoulders soldiers and hand them uh hand them out Uh, pretty similar to your pulse rifles so cool Mm. same thing so now they have they have more than a single rifle (laughs) they have more than a single single rifle rifle and a knife they they can uh (laughs) and a knife handle (laughs) they can somewhat defend themselves Anyways. And, and with you guys that, are gonna uh, uh, keep on trucking. Silva is yep. woman of very few words, so she is going to trek and keep going. Let's uh, go. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. What do we have going on? Here. So you guys are still just making your way towards Fort Nebraska. Um, it's a lot of the same. You see UA soldiers, you see Union soldiers all kind of going at it. There's still ships going on overhead. Um, as you guys get closer and closer, and oops, that's not the right tool. Hello, we're doing this now. <laughs> I know, I know. It looks like you guys aren't still like a mile away, but you're you're closer. You're starting to get to the point where it's, you are, the walls are visible. Well, you can see how everything is set up. You have almost a clear path. Uh, you're just pretty much a few blocks away. It's a whole square of buildings around the area. Um, more like immediate housing for the people who actually worked in the um, fort. Okay. But I need you guys to make me another observation roll. I am looking. I'm apparently real good at looking today. <laughs> so much good looking. Oh, nope, not good oh, looking. Okay. No. Hey, good looking. Your, your looking was good. Your panicking go, was not. Go ahead and make me a panic roll, Iona. Okay. You got dust in your eyes. <laughs> This is fine. Moon dust. Five again. It's fine. Okay, so you are fine. Mm-hmm. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> Yikes. So. What happens next is... What appears to be an EMP burst. Oh, no. Not a no, no. All the hairs stand up. Electricity starts ripping through between these buildings. 
um, ships just start crashing and going down. Who is raiding? Hello, friends. Welcome. Oh. Uh, you are here at the height it's of the action. Wait, what a time. Us. It's yeah, what a time. Um, and a set of crits. All of your guys' is. <laughs> It's totally fine in here. It's, everything's fine. <laughs> everything's fine. fine. Ignore the but... fallen drop ships. They're, the drop is in the name, you know? <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're drop ships. It's what they're yeah. designed to do, right? <laughs> but... So sorry, just before the raid happened, what were you saying? Can you repeat yourself? <laughs> so uh, what you get, what our lovely new friends are coming in on is a massive EMP burst just rocked the entire colony coming from somewhere up above you. Electricity is ripped through everywhere. You can see the bolts of electricity popping from lighting to cameras. You can see drop ships falling from the sky. The hairs on your arms, your necks stand up and you can hear the static fry in your comms. And is Charlie shielded from EMP kind of maneuvers? I hope Charlie, so. Charlie is. E oh, give me a minute. Technically, technically, give me a moment, friends. It uh, would not affect a human, but it would definitely affect. It would not affect a human, but it does affect Charlie. So. Oh no! Here the dice. <laughs> okay, so. You don't have any armor, do you, Charlie? No. He barely has any arm. <laughs> he doesn't even really have an arm. Got arm. <laughs> he has an arm and a gun. Um, so do? you do take a point of damage. Oh, ouch. Crunch. But I, since we you guys... still have four points of, of health from earlier. You have four yeah. points of health. So feel free to use it now or later. Up to you. You should probably use it now. Um, these ships are dropping. Since you guys succeeded on your notice rolls, um, you're able to get out of the way of some of these ships coming down. Oh, oh good. <laughs> ships fall but... and dies. <laughs> Sorry. Well, this isn't the only thing going on, guys. Uh, oh, no. Of course not. Why would it be? After that EMP burst, something else starts to happen. No. Somewhere further off, out towards the spaceport, is seems to be the center of it. Hmm. There's a shadow above the cloud line and you can't make out really the shape of what it is, but you can guess it's a ship in orbit somewhere. And everybody's getting a stress point for this. I mean, if uh, but, if it's close enough that we can see its shadow, it is a very low orbit. Or it's a very, very big, big ship. ship. Very big ship. That's no moon. <laughs> That's no moon. <laughs> uh -huh. No, no, this but, is the moon. That can't be another moon. Sorry, yes, that's why. That uh, checks out. That's fine. Moon. Yeah. Can't be more than one moon in one place. <laughs> it's space law. Sorry, you were saying, Meg. But <laughs> above that spaceport, you start seeing what looks like bombs spiraling down and starting to crash over the spaceport. There's nothing else in the sky at this point. All the dropships are on the ground, burning, crash. And you can see after these bombs start to connect, ash billowing from the spaceport and starting to spread very rapidly across the colony. to get underground or somewhere away from this dust cloud. Uh, How far are we from Fort Nebraska by now? You are a few blocks out, but it's not enough time. 
there um, are there is a drop ship around near you. Any more of those secret tunnels? <laughs> yeah, secret yeah. tunnels. They're technically everywhere because it was an oil refinery at one point, but so there um, is a working drop ship nearby or there is a downed drop ship that it's just a downed drop ship, but us. it looks relatively intact as far as the cabin goes. So we're just trying to get out of this like storm cloud, right? Yes. Run. <laughs> Pretty much that's gonna that's Run. what we're gonna have to do, and so Yeah. Uh, Die for it. Yeah. Agreed. <laughs> Captain Silva's the last one in. Uh and make sure that the Wayland Yutani woman is the first one in. Okay. Uh, she has no obligation <laughs> she has she has no objections about that. She is in that ship. <laughs> and- <laughs> She won't hesitate. She is in that ship. You guys are. You guys all get inside, and you're able to seal that cabin up before that dust cloud comes over you. And it's thick. Once you're in the ship, you can see through the glass that it's I'm trying to think of the best. You can't see through that cloud. It's thick with three C's. Thick. She thick. <laughs> but, <laughs> and it's like spelling. that. It is like that for a minute until the explosions off in the distance stop. And it takes a while. Like several minutes, 10, 20 to start to settle down uh, and you can see that the dust just fizzles evaporates uh charlie do you have any uh or w- would charlie have any specialties or uh idea of what that fuck that is <laughs> no no basically i'm looking for his medical um expertise on uh basically anything we can do to we need some COVID masks, is what I'm saying. We need some N95s. <laughs> uh, some form of PPE against this environmental hazard. Yes. Hey, so, well. in character, Silva will ask uh, right away for uh, any I kind of... I can see what's in my uh, gonna, various gonna, uh, gonna, medical gonna... supplies, surgical kits. There'll be some kind of, uh, presumably some sort of dressing and bandages that you might be able to fashion into some sort of makeshift uh, mask or breathable apparatus. I send Dante and Iona into the whatever is left in this ship to try to f- scavenge any fabrics or masks or suits. So before you guys start moving to do that, um, in front, you can see out that glass of that ship again. Some of those soldiers that didn't quite make it. You... As that ash went over them, and even as it settled, some of them are still moving. One or two of them have completely just become statues, like clawing, trying to get somewhere safe, but they're immobilized. And others. Vesuvius, then. Full on Vesuvius and others, they lived, but you can see them as they're hitting, when I'm hitting the glass, the veins and the markings and etchings that you saw on Wolchik Silva, they have those and their eyes are blacking over. They look like they are deteriorating. And rather rapidly. Wojcik was the one... That was the one that you found in the insurgent camp. That was that. attacking people. Yes. Well, fuck. This is some chemical warfare we got going on then. Yeah. Sure. So it feels like that. <laughs> and... As this guy can, you guys are staring on, watching this guy trying to process and figure out what's going on. His soldiers just ends up doing pretty much the same thing. He's tearing at his face and just 
deteriorating. He eventually just kind of turns to ass. Is there anything left in his place? His clothes. <laughs> <laughs> Everything's this drop, fine. Any kind of uh, uh, any of the comms in any way working that we would be able to tell, sort of the temperature of outside or the uh, air toxicity levels or anything like that. Um. So Mason does have a carbon reader that helps pick up radio, um, things like radiation. Uh, biochemicals, things like that. Is it still functioning, though? That is something that you guys are going to have to work on. Uh, right. So any of the tech that you got, it was just an EMP burst. So in theory, it's all repairable. The shop, this drop ship isn't getting up in the sky, but... It had a very <laughs> long drop to the ground. <laughs> yeah. It... It was dropped with a capital D. <laughs> Droop. Um, well, who in my team would I know is at least a little bit tech savvy other than Charlie? Uh, let's see. Let's take a look. It helps if I look at the actual it's characters not and not the agendas. <laughs> Charlie, you get started on uh, repairing that as quickly as possible. Uh, Mason, you can, you can work with uh, with Charlie on that one. And um, okay. while they do, we're going to continue our search for need a serious hand gas marine. masks. It's tricky to hold for the gun, like, but I think it work. I don't think they would have like space <laughs> suits per se. Is the problem. These I'm, ships I'm, are designed for lower orbit, but they do have some emergency, like, pressure suits for if they have to get out while in upper orbit. Yeah. Um, about how many do you think we, we would find in this ship? In this ship, you've got one on the pilot who died on landing, and you've Great. got... It's going to be a little stinky. <laughs> it's unfortunate. It might have a little bit of blood in it, but... Um, a little bit of blood, a little bit of urine. And, <laughs> well, you know. But... Um, you can find two that are relatively intact that seem to be their pressure suits. So for the most part, they should be safe to wear out in this without threat of being exposed. Hmm. Nose goes. But uh, that also means once you open that cabin, you are exposing Definitely. everyone. Yep. No, we're not starting. We're not moving anywhere anytime soon. How goes the repairs? Uh, make me a contact roll, please, Charlie. Boop. Repairs are okay. Okay. Are you looking at just repeating, uh, um, fixing the carbon reader, or uh, yeah, are you I'll trying do, to get comms as well? I'll try and do the carbon reader, uh, my motion tracker, any of the other kind of smaller bits of kit that we've got on us first okay. up, and then if that's all, once we've got those all up and running, then I'll try and start to take a closer look at some of the dropships, more advanced tech. Give you an idea on what you saw. There is that. Black goo bomb. Uh, gross and bad. Gross and bad. It's bad and gross. One I apologize. Say. I should have put that up when I said it, but sometimes I forget handouts exist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to theater of the mind now, but... Uh, let's see. Let me find some equipment. I will say that since you guys are staying put for a little bit, that con that contact role is enough to work through and get things functioning. So you've got your guys' comms up and running with each other. 
you've got your motion tracker, you've got the carbon reader, and let me take a look and see what that reader actually gets you. Okay. Yeah, I say it's a carbon reader, but it's actually a CBRN detection kit. <laughs> so uh, for context, what you guys would know about this thing is that it's a chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear detection kit. It's got a Geiger counter, a biological and chemical agent diagnostic device, four doses of neurotoxin inhibitors, four emergency respirators, which are good for about a turn before they have to be recharged, a set of acid-proof gloves and goggles, syringes, sampling tools, chemical detection paper, and four heat-resistant specimen jars. Uh, the use of this kit detects the current radiation level and any chemical or biological pathogen at the user's location. It also mm. gives the user a plus two modification to sickness rules. Our problem is we can't do any testing until we get outside. No, seemingly not. I can always try my best with some of the uh, inbuilt um, signaling devices in the ship and see if we can come up with anything, but uh, it may be a long shot from where we are, especially with the impact that the ship sustained. Especially because these kind of ships weren't meant for scientific research by a long shot. <clears throat> I highly doubt how long you think we should stay here, how safe this place is. Won't be safe for long. It just took a long fall onto the ground. It's going to be a little bit shaky for a while. Um, mm. Definitely still safer than in here than out there. I... Game Mother, how successful were we at finding any sort of makeshift mask? Just the kind of the stuff from the, the medical kit and whatnot? Um, so you've got the three pressure suits that you were able to find. You've got the four respirator masks um, that are part of the kit. Those aren't automatically sealed though. And you quite aren't quite sure how this pathogen is um, distributed. Yeah. You can assume that it's through the air, but is that a risk that you want to take? Is kind of what you want to weigh well, here. I will open it up to the group. Captain Silva will take whatever is the uh, most dangerous form of protection and give the better stuff to anyone else in the group. Uh, we have enough to cover everyone because technically, hopefully, Charlie isn't infect, uh, affected by it. So we huh. have three. We, uh, Meg just said three suits and four respirators. <laughs> Captain, I must say, though, while I find your um, distinct lack of self-preservation incredibly honorable, um, and you put your lives with your men first, which, as every good commander, um, will earn you immense amounts of respect, I can't help but feel that that would jeopardize this mission if you were to be incapacitated. We've already had a situation, and uh, the second in command, though I'm sure capable, um, was, I'm afraid, not up to your level of quick thinking and decision making. And in a situation like this, I can't help but feel that that will be the difference between lives and deaths. And I must insist that you do take a secure and protective form of personal protective equipment. Charlie, I will be fine. I'm all for uh, having the level headed uh, captain, you know, stay level headed and alive. And keep the rest of us alive. Fine. Then who else is taking a suit? I assume we probably should give one to our guest here. She's probably not going to object to that. <laughs> She's <laughs> not. It's like, I would very much appreciate staying alive. I can actually give you a bit of an idea of what this is. What? How? Well, well, they were experimenting with something similar down in sub level three. And that's what Colonel Myers is trying to cover up. This is 
are people doing this? I don't know. What exactly were they doing in sub-level three? Bioweapons experimentation. Bioweapons like that. And uh, Dante just points. Well, trying to create a way to counter it. There is something in sub-level three that will counteract the effects of this. How easily are we going to get to sub-level three after uh, that lovely little hemp there? Do you have any secrets, Eukvert? Do you have any way to get into the base? Ways that we... uh, may not be privy to? Uh, She pulls out a um, key tag, and this is something that you guys all recognize. It's a military level key tag, but this is a majors level key tag, which is what will pretty much get you anywhere. This is the gold standard. I can can get you into sub level three. I can get you into the space elevator. I don't think that the Monaghan is functional anymore. We'll have to find something else. We could take the space station if we have to. Anything to get off of whatever this disgusting war zone is. Um, so, uh, is Captain Silva, uh, much to Captain Silva's uh, argument, uh, she will take one of the suits along with uh, our guest and give one more to Hammer. Um, and basically he'll, she'll have to give out the whatever is the next best thing to the other four. Hammer declines. Iona, I need you to uh, have my back. Dante should take it. I am the captain. I'm giving <laughs> you an order. Iona, can you please take the suit? Dante should take it. Okay. Dante, will you will you take my orders? Uh, <laughs> it'll help get the rest of you guys out of here, sure. Jesus Christ. Anyway, Listen, bunch I'll, of I'll, selfless I'll marines you've got here, Captain. I'll take the suit, but uh, just, uh, that way I'll be a the bunch best. of saboteur marines. <laughs> Can't listen saboteurs. to their captain. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> the Charlie. worst. I mean, it, I, Listen. I'm not fit for it. Just, so, Dante it. has uh, 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 a ah. suit. Silva so does, and so does the woman whose name I can never remember. Eckford. All Eckford. I can think. Eck what? Eckford. Eckford? Eck. Okay. I did all hear I can, Egg. All I hear is Egbert, and I'm like, that's completely Eckford. wrong. It's not. Dr. Eggman. <laughs> Wrong sci-fi. <laughs> Some sci-fi fantasy. Anyways. <laughs> uh, and as soon as we are all suited up as best as we possibly can be, we'll like rip some like uh, some gauze and kind of cover up any possible gaps. And I basically already have a gator in my character art, so like I'm good. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna. Cover up as best as possible, and then crack the seal and uh, break out of this god dang ship. Okay. Uh, and it is everyone's orders to uh, basically run as quickly as possible to what might be the safety of Fort Nebraska. If you guys are running, those respirators are going to run out faster. You said we're three or four blocks away. That's all we're really going for. So, will that still be enough? As you guys are getting nothing. closer to Fort Nebraska, that main gateway is still up. There's a gate. There's a drop. Um, hold on. Let me. I have something here for this. Would the major <laughs> tag be good against it or no? No. At that point, it's fried. Oh. Um, 
So it's act, it's it's one of the situations where you, if you can get it down, it's going to be a struggle. But the real challenge is going to be. We wouldn't be able to get it back up. Getting in there to begin with. Yeah. So. BRB, while I try to remember where you guys actually end up as this in this goddamn map. <laughs> this map is unbelievably large. Yeah, I know. It's annoying. I'm sorry um, to the stream has to watch as I kind of randomly scroll around to try to find where the front entrance to this place is. <laughs> okay, okay, so... okay, there just keeps being more of it. Okay. It's big. Real big. So go to North Bastion Lord. level one. That's where you guys are. Oh, yep, there it is. So, Found it. I'm going to put you guys down in a moment, but surrounding this entire fort is a wall. Like, you know how the insurgent compound had a big wall around it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This one is significantly bigger and significantly more reinforced. And by that, that also means that there are still Century turrets. Yikes. Friend or foe. Uh, <laughs> century turrets that they weren't really affected by the EMP blast because they're mm -hmm. meant to last. function as a last resort. Yeah. Um, and they are still live. And you can tell that because there are still some very deranged people in various states of decay. Yep. Some of them have the veins going down the, down them. Some of them have almost completely turned into that creature that Wojcik turned into. Trying to get to the wall. But you see the turrets go off and gun them down. Less things for us to fight. <laughs> Well, uh, could you so basically where the uh, the turrets would be right now? Uh, I imagine kind of all, all along the wall, right? The main turrets are going to be like in this front section where the gate comes down. So there's like a big platform right here that's got a gateway. And that's usually where, like, vehicles come in and out. It's something that can be dropped down to allow vehicle access. Um, as you're closer, it's actually par only partially raised. So the turrets are still alive, but the gate itself is partially I have an, raised. I have an important question. Okay. Do we have any explosives? I'm sure a few of you have grenades. Hammer's got some grenades, doesn't he? Yeah, Hammer absolutely has Hammer, grenades. Hammer at least has a couple. Let's see. I was hoping at least for have a grenade launcher. More along the lines of <laughs> plastic explosives to blow down the gate. Um, well, I have a cutting torch. <laughs> he also has a gun arm. Which... <laughs> which, is, which, which, although not plastic explosives, may still be useful. However, if I'm under sentry tower fire... That might be an issue. That would be yeah, an issue. Yeah, that, and, and it's crossed. Any break so... to any of us who have a um, a suit, it could be potentially dead, deadly. So right. uh, Silva is going to have to uh, stay back because some of you couldn't take orders. Um, well, for the record, I do have an RPG launcher. You do have an RPG launcher. Ooh, we should use that. You Slash know. Agreement. If we're, if we're not going to use it now, where are we going to use it? We, we got to use <laughs> it, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, you bet you can't guess what the range is. It's extreme, guys. <laughs> this is indeed an extreme situation. <laughs> I was going to say. The question say, is do we uh, attack the turrets or do we attack the gate first? I would you know probably <laughs> say. Probably the turrets. I was going to say, even if Load we... Load it up there, Dante. I know you've been trigger-hungry all day long. 
So, how many things am I going to shoot? I'm ready. <laughs> so, there are... Any turret with a uh, even sort of functioning human being. They do not have people on them. No. They're all smart. They're all essentially uh, smart rifles. Gross. They oh, are auto-targeting. <laughs> well then, as many as them as you can. Uh, so there are two that directly cross lines in front of this. There's two more on either side. But once these initial two are down, you have a bit of a gap. So if you are willing, willing to risk making the run after you got down those first two turrets, you can. I more or less figured, like, go for these two, like the two main ones, and one of these guys, then. Three shoots. Three shoots? Three okay. Sh so, let's go one by one. Make me your first uh, range roll, please. First range roll, or do I just hit the attack roll? On the um, I think either works, but I think ranged will, I mean, the attack roll will add any bonuses if you have any. Okay. Yeah, as long as the sheet hasn't been added, added, uh, edited. Edited. I gotcha. <laughs> All right. Cards are word. One. Cards are word. <laughs> oh, come on. Okay. I mean, it's not a failure. <laughs> didn't blow up in my face. Uh, it didn't blow up in your face. It went a little wide. There's now a hole in the wall. <laughs> All right, uh, shoot number two. Well, if there's a hole okay. in the wall, we don't need to breach the gate now. <laughs> Take <laughs> that, game mother. <laughs> you still have to deal with the turrets to get to the wall. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you've got two successes. Is there something you would like to do with that second? Uh, was one of those shoot... What Wasn't one of those... You can't save it for another... Thing, right? I can't. Uh, uh, for ranged combat, I don't believe so. No. Ah, shoot, where did that sheet go? Sorry. Uh, uh. I believe it's under skills, so skills in question, probably. That's rolling dice. For each or... extra that you roll, choose one of these stunts. You inflict one more point of damage. You pin down your enemy, you position yourself, and get to exchange initiative store score. Your target drops a weapon or their handheld object, or your, your opponent falls to the ground or is pushed back. Um, this there's... doesn't work too well with turrets. Exactly. <laughs> oh. It's not quite a good you idea. You can just deal the damage to Push it. Them back. All right, just deal the damage. Just extra, extra good shoot. <laughs> I Extra push the turret shoot. I'm so far the back so far. that it hits into so... another one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ricochets. Just I would have needed three successes for that beauty. one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Of a uh, chunk of the see. wall flying <laughs> past the camera lens and smashing <laughs> into another turret. Okay. So let's. Which one were you shooting for? Left or right? Uh, I decided left because I was thinking basically okay. the two gates and then I was going to go for this guy. So Oh, so you were doing the two yeah, corners this, of the gate yeah, this one, and the turret or the turrets? Uh, oh. I think we were doing turrets. This is so. the gate. Yeah, these right. are yeah, the turrets. I missed I one of the, the turrets and yeah, you hit I was another going... turret. So. Okay. Okay, my bad. I thought you meant there was a turret on each side of the gate, as in, like, actually, like, there, and then there was additional... No, he, he proper just drew a line for the gate, is what oh, okay. happened. Well, there you go, then. So this one got shot, definitely, then, because that's okay. about the hole I was going for, and then that so one. that is down. Uh, okay, pick cool. your next target and make me another roll, please. Let's go. Please make me a panic roll. Dun, dun, dun. And then roll a d6. All right. Okay. And we're cool. Everything's fine. Should Everything's be fine. fine. Everything's fine. You're good. Hell yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, so. Okay. All right. Uh, unfortunately, that since you had to make a panic roll, that 
just cancels out your action. Um, but go ahead and make me a- another shoot roll. Yes, please. Yes, yes, yes. I get to shoot many times. Many time. Ho, I ho, have ho, big ho, rocket ho, launcher. Ho, ho. You can take down two rocket launch. You can take down two turrets with that one. I don't know why I said it that way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One uh, turret. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> two two well, turrets. turrets. Ha, ha. <laughs> well, uh, so I think we can get into that entrance now. Right? <laughs> Did we just... So you got this turret that's here on the left. Did you get these two on the right, or were you? Uh, I mean, I probably could. I was mostly it's... aiming because I was mostly at first aiming for these initial two. Like that was my first shot. That's the one that would have hit the wall. That's the miss. So is... it would have hit the wall. We'll say it hit like this corner right, right here. Right. Then you uh... knocked that one down. And then this one was the uh, four successes. <laughs> okay. So we'll say you take that down and a good chunk of the wall. So if you guys want to circumvent this, you can just go through this side. Straight through here. I do have yeah. to make a, 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 a question here, Game Mother. Yes. Um, because, uh, I mean, I may have put the gate in the wrong place, but there are entrances right here. There are entrances there. Um I guess the gate was more for big things, huh? It's, we'll say that it lined up like this, but for the most part, the wall is set up about the same way around the whole facility. Okay. Oh, so it's like so, a, a perimeter more than a, okay. It's a perimeter wall that's hmm. around the whole thing. Gotcha. So you guys got the turrets, you got the wall. So you guys are able to pretty much get in here. Okay, then we're going to do that then. Do that. <laughs> I guess it probably helps if I actually put you guys on the board. Nah, it's fine. I had to shoot things first, and we, yeah, you know, the range, on that, the range on that is extreme anyway. So just imagine we're scooched back, you know? <laughs> yeah, you guys, you, you guys had to take a minute to get there. All mm -hmm. right, let's see. Let me like minimize all are. this. Looks shit. like we're close. We're really, really, we're really far away. <laughs> so that is that was three rounds from you right for your mm -hmm. rpg uh yeah three yes, sorry three I can count uh <laughs> does it say on your sheet how many you have left um or how many you had in total reload. i want to uh let me see it does not say that anywhere, actually. Okay, so we're going to say that you had six to start with. Okay. So, 50%. <laughs> but I said, fuck that wall. So it's okay. Fuck <laughs> that wall. <laughs> fuck that fuck wall. Fuck that wall. <laughs> and here you oh, guys here are. Here we are. We're big. Yeah, you're big, so I'm going to resize you. <laughs> so we've got giants but... and then we've got a facility with a giant wall around it hmm <laughs> as you guys um are mo you guys have br gotten past the perimeter wall and you guys are moving towards the inside you see that there is actually seems to have been a fight here too it's not mm. quite to the extent of the full-blown war that's outside because obviously there's a bunch of dropships and stuff. Right. But there has been a full there has been a fight and it seems to have come from within the actual fort. Right. Um and in fighting in the military. Somewhere in fighting in the military. Uh, and some... as you guys are making your ways inside, there's a familiar face actually out on 
on the outer along the edge of the outer wall do you guys find major hatfield that's the guy oh. that gave you your orders oh and who you were responding to do we find him in a nice way or in a like great I was kind of way? Finding uh, him, we're finding him dead but i could be wrong <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say, are we yeah. finding him in a chest cavity? It's not a chest fingers? cavity. Um, Is it a gray kind of way? That rapier that he had, that gold gilded rapier he was so proud of having at his waist, he's got it clutched in his hand and it's covered in blood. There are people around him that look like they were affected by that smoke cloud that you saw earlier people that were had disease and had the veins and things growing on them there's a few of them a few of other soldiers but it's they're all gone so. i i mean what is a rapier but a long knife i'm gonna take it. <laughs> <laughs> someone please he's not clip using it. that <laughs> so you're taking his you're going to the body and taking the rapier Me. he's not using it he's not using it he's still partially <laughs> he would, alive is oh. he is he still alive or is he just no, covered in blood he, oh. is, he is dead See, he, well, I thought he's he got he... a few slash marks in his chest and he's pretty he, much bled out he would want the sword to continue being used for butt kicking okay. so I'm going to take it. I have gloves on, so I'm not touching the weird ooze if any of it's on it. Yeah, don't uh, touch the dust. It is allergy season. Yes. <laughs> allergy season. <laughs> um, um, look, I am wearing PPE. So do me a favor and roll me an observation. Okay. You gotta look real good at the knife before you I get it. look real good at it. I oh my gosh. every single roll. Observation roll. I have rolled I have failed every single roll. <laughs> Panic roll, please. <laughs> I just wanted another knife. <laughs> just wanted a cool sword. It just went. If what do you have there? You, you know what? You're handling it fine. You're what good. Do I have a knife. No, you got your long. Yeah, you have roll. your long knife. You have oh, your cool. long knife. Cool. Yeah. Roll 20 tried to say no, but... <laughs> I have a long knife. You have your long knife. I'm pulling up but my actual knife here. You have I, your long I'm knife, you guys. I'm not scared at all. You this have your fine. long knife. You guys have seen... He would want me to use this, okay? <laughs> Sorry, Meg, you were saying? You have your long knife. You guys are getting a taste of kind of what was going on inside the fort while everything was going on. And now you are faced with going further into the depths. You don't have any other hope of getting off this moon other than that space elevator. So, and that is where we are going to end it, ladies and gentlemen, as you prepare to climb into the lion's den. Wow. 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 Certainly eventful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how we feeling, guys? Well, we finally made it to a place that is not a broken down uh, house. So I feel a little bit more like we're on the way to something good. Um, we'll see how it goes. We've made some vast strides in weaponry. I have a long knife, and Charlie has a gun arm, so I think we're better than when find, we started. We set out to find the AWOLs. We found two, both of which are now dead. Oop. We went to a bar. Went you to found the prison. three, actually. Yeah, we yeah, found three of the four. In the prison. All, all three of them are dead. <laughs> okay, they're all dead. We found we three great bodies. Back getting shot and blown up in the process. But yeah, but gun but arm. <laughs> you have a gun arm, you have a long sword. A the long only bit sword, that felt good is to rescue all those guys and put them on a drop ship, which then 20 minutes later crashed back down to the surface of the moon and exploded, incinerating everyone. So that's it's what you get It's been enough for... time that they got, they're good. 
<laughs> they're good. They're good. You yeah, got you got some people out. Money for that, okay? Are you just you got them, that you them. You save people, guys. We save people. Oh, say so, so they are good. Okay. The ones on the dropship are fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cool, because yeah, I was sitting there like, hmm. Well, we tried. <laughs> See, I've been sitting there thinking, man, we tried <laughs> this whole time. <laughs> I feel good about this. Yeah, mostly because I have a sword. And I believe you guys you know. still have three points of healing. If Charlie used one to top himself back up, so you I'm guys can keep up. that in the bank for next session. Um, Yay. And awesome. I will make a note of it on the group chat. But that is it for the night, guys. So if you would like to go around and say your outro 